This boxcar was only $10 at Dayton Swap Meet last weekend, and I thought it was a pretty good bargain. I like Baltimore and Ohio, so Chesapeake and Ohio is not too big of a stretch. When I got it out, I started researching online for a 6616 for Chesapeake and Ohio, and I couldn't find anything. I could have saved myself a whole lot of time if I had just looked at the end of the box and realized that this is a Missouri and Pacific passenger car. The Chesapeake and Ohio graphic was just a piece of uh, label tape from somebody's label maker. The gold behind the lettering fooled me. But this is still better. I would rather see Missouri Pacific than this odd sticker. So off it comes. Part of me wanted to stop right here. The passenger car had been returned to its original condition and it's in really good shape. But then I started thinking about repainting it. These two little tabs on each side of the translucent glass, the plastic, can be pushed in. And when they're pushed in, the roof lifts away from the body shell. So let's talk a little bit about these people in the windows these silhouettes that Lionel decided to put on this car. There's some weird stuff going on. There's a priest reading a Bible, and there's a whole lot of women that are in slightly suggestive poses. So I guess somebody in the uh, art department at Lionel maybe has a sense of humor. I don't know. I'd like to get rid of these silhouettes altogether. I'd much rather see just the translucent uh, whitish plastic. but. I'll keep it. The roof section doesn't need any work. It's in fine shape. I like the color. Gray is a color that Baltimore and Ohio would have used. Also, the gray and the yellow stripes on the side, those are going to stay. It was difficult to get these two end caps off. This one came off all right, but the other one I squeezed too hard and it created a little crack along one of the weak spots. It's easy to fix. This cement that I used on other projects, it's a liquid plastic solvent. It's called Plastic Weld, and it works really well on this older styrene. Once these are pushed together and held for just, you know, 15, 20 seconds, it's pretty much set. And because it was on almost a seam for this part, you won't even notice the repair. I don't need to do any further work on this other than just to paint it. To get the best paint job, I also need to remove the lighting and the trucks from the shell body. This isn't too hard. I counted when it was all said and done. There are a total of 12 pieces to this model. And two of those pieces are wire nuts and two pieces are screws that hold the trucks together. So it's not too hard to take apart. Since I'm reusing the gray and yellow stripes on this car, I mask them off to protect them before I start wet sanding. This sandpaper with some water added will remove that lettering pretty easily and then give me a nice smooth surface for my new dark navy blue paint. After the shell has dried, I use two types of tape now. I use the yellow Tamiya tape to mask off that crisp edge between the upper and the lower areas and fill in the space in between with just some regular blue painter's tape. If this all goes as planned, I should end up with a nice crisp edge between the colors and no need for touch-ups.
I bought these decals on eBay and I first used them to complete a repaint on a Williams F7 diesel for Baltimore and Ohio. But it just so happens that I have enough decals left over from the uh, Williams project to use on the sides of a Lionel passenger car so I can get two models from one set of decals. I think it should work pretty well. Alright, so let's talk about money. The passenger car itself was only $10. I used half of a decal sheet that I already purchased, so $342. Miscellaneous paint and supplies, maybe a dollar, for a grand total of $14.42. Not too bad. I have a few more pieces of Baltimore and Ohio equipment in my fleet. These are baggage cars from Williams that came with just the shells so I had to make bases for three of them. These turned out pretty good. They're a little bit longer in size than the Lionel Madison car, but the colors and the size is close enough that they don't look out of place when they're put together. This is the Williams F7 diesel that I repainted for B&O. It shares decals now with the repainted Lionel Madison car. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching and until next time this has been bob's workshop